Hi everyone, welcome back to Brookdale Farm. Well, we're up in our salt patch at the moment um, where we've been gradually regenerating this land uh, and putting in, this is mostly old man salt bush with a little bit of river salt bush as well. It's looking a bit sparse at the moment because the sheep have been in here and chewed everything back. Um, this is a great feed source in a dry year. Uh, the salt bush uh, is, is a really good uh, bit of nutrient for the sheep. What I actually came over here to show you is our little leaky weir here. This is based on, amongst other people, Peter Andrews' work, uh, where he would build leaky weirs across creek lines, uh, and this would allow the flood plain to fill up. It would slow the water down so it drops all the sediment and silt in behind the leaky weir. It used to be a trench that was as deep as this, going all the way up. It's largely filled back in over the years and by slowing the water down with the little leaky weirs, you allow the water to soak into the floodplain further back up here. Now, this is a really, really small example of one of these, but how much water does it actually hold? We haven't had any rain since October so that's almost six months with only the odd shower here and there, uh, which has evaporated very, very quickly again. Um, it's been one of the longest, hottest, driest summers I can remember. We had quite a few days up to 46 degrees, and this has baked everything hard and dry. But this little leaky weir here is holding enough water and allowing it to slowly come back out in the soil that if we look in here this soil's still wet um, and uh, that's still holding an awful lot of moisture in there and that is just from what is stored in that dirt up on the other side of the leaky weir so that is pretty amazing that it is still holding water this long afterwards. Um, and this helps the plants on either side uh, to access water in these really dry times. Now you can see down here, this white stuff, that's salt. And you can see we've got quite a crust of salt in the bottom here. And that's uh, far from ideal. But when we bought this property, that crust of salt, we had a crust of salt probably twice as thick as that all the way up here. There was nothing growing here at all. Everywhere you can see salt bush up there, that was a bare baked hard salt pan. Um, so we've gradually been bringing it back. Um, we need to put a lot more mulch back out here again, but this has been improving no end over the past few years but anyway i just thought that i would come out and show you how well these even tiny little leaky weirs work at holding water back in the landscape um, and uh, how beneficial they can be anyway i hope you found this video useful thanks very much for watching and i hope to see you again next time bye